Welcome to Electron Line. If you're given the parametric equations of two different lines in three-dimensional space, how do you tell if those lines are parallel or not? Well, what you can do here is as follows. Notice that here you have the general equation of the parametric equations of, the, um, of a line. And notice that A, B, and C are the coefficients of the vector that's parallel to that line. In other words, the vector V1 would be the vector that's parallel to line 1, and V1 can then be found by finding A, B, and C, which, by the way, are these components right here, the coefficient from the T, 1, 4, and negative 1, which means if I'm going to find vector V1, which is parallel to line 1, I can then say that V1 is equal to the vector 1, 4, and negative 1, or we can write the vector as follows, that would be 1 times i plus 4 times j minus 1 times k. We can do the same for the second vector. Notice instead of using t, we used s as the parameter, but again we can say that v2 is equal to also a, b, and c of the second line, and a, b, and c can be found, that would be the 3 here, that would be the 1 there, and the 5 over there, which means that v2 is equal to the vector 3, 1, and 5, which can be written as 3 in the i direction, plus 1 in the j direction, plus 5 in the k direction. Now all we have to do is look at those two vectors to see if they're parallel. And they can only be parallel if the components, the x, y, and z components, are proportional to one another. In other words, if these vectors are going to be parallel, I need to have these as a multiple of this vector. For example, if I had 6, 2, and 10, or 9, 3, and 15, or so forth, then we can see that, yes, the components are proportional, therefore they're parallel. But in this case, they are not. Notice that this is smaller than this, this is bigger than that, this is negative, that's positive. There's no way that those two vectors can be parallel, therefore we can conclude not parallel. And that's how we do that. It's relatively straightforward. Again, what we do is we take the parametric equations, we take the coefficients in front of the parameter, we then reconstruct the vector which is parallel to the line. We do that for both lines. We compare the two vectors, and if the coefficients are not proportional to one another, then the vector is not parallel, and therefore the lines are not parallel. And that's how it's done.